He was appointed by Republican President Gerald Ford. Retired Supreme Court Justice John Paul Stevens left a lasting mark on the law of the land. He passed away peacefully tonight at the age of 99 after suffering a stroke. Chief legal correspondent Shannon Bream, the host of Fox News at Night, takes a look back at his legacy. John Paul Stevens was a federal judge in Chicago when, in 1975, President Gerald Ford picked him for the high court. Stevens' impact was immediate. His vote helped forge a narrow majority to reinstate the death penalty. But by 2008, he concluded the way capital punishment was carried out by states was pointless and, quote, patently excessive and cruel and unusual punishment. A conclusion that the stable ground that he thought he found early on uh, wasn't proving as stable as he would have liked. Stevens was born in 1920 and raised in his beloved hometown of Chicago. His family ran the old Stevens Hotel on Michigan Avenue until the Great Depression knocked them out of the business. In between his college studies at the University of Chicago and Northwestern Law School, where he finished first in his class, he served in the U.S. Navy during World War II. He was awarded a Bronze Star for his work as part of the famous Code Breakers stationed in Hawaii. In 1947, he did a one-year clerkship for Justice Wiley Rutledge, a man Stevens would later call a hero. It is perhaps because of this experience that Stevens would make sure he engaged his clerks in the day-to-day -day operations of the court. That may not sound that unusual, but in many of the other chambers, a lot of work was done by memo writing. But with Justice Stevens, it was an ongoing legal discussion, which is, which is the best opportunity. His voice on the court didn't really emerge until the 1990s, when he became the longest-serving associate justice. This position, second only to the chief justice in influence, allowed him to craft close majorities in dozens of cases. He's really flourished in that role. Uh, of course, he just has one vote like anybody else. but. It gave him a, a real kind of strategic perch for uh, marshalling the more liberal wing of the court. This skill enabled Stevens to pick up the crucial fifth vote in a string of war on terror cases from 2004 through 2008, challenging the Bush administration's handling of terror suspects at Guantanamo Bay. In recent years, Stevens maintained that his conservative principles never changed during his time on the court. Rather, it was the justices around him, and perhaps the country, too, that became more conservative than he. Nonetheless, Justice John Paul Stevens could always be counted on for straightforward and thoughtful legal analysis. Shortly before his death, President Ford said he was prepared to let history's judgment of his presidency rest on his selection of Stevens to the Supreme Court. A legacy of candor, of insight, um, and uh, uh, of craft.